Hi guys, this is Experts on Talk. My name is Olga and this is Tomek. Today we will speak about PWA and AMP. Great, uh, fantastic news. Uh, hello Olga, hello you guys. Uh, probably you know me from the Frontend News podcast. Today I'm here on the Experts Talk. Different formula, but still uh, the same quality. Yeah, let's get started. Let's start. Today we will speak how to choose the right technology for your business. If you have some questions to our experts, you can always contact experts from Frontend House. Yes, uh, just come to our website frontendhouse.com or leakymas.com and uh, use the contact form to uh, get in touch with us and, you know, we can do something interesting together, so we are waiting for you. Great, so my first question is, what is AMP and PWA and how to use it and why is it used? Okay, so uh, actually these are three questions in one. <laughs> no, just kidding. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I forgive you. Let's be serious for a while. So yeah, um, AMP, this is the accelerated mobile pages and this is the framework based on the web components. So it means this is the set of tools as we as a developers we can use in our implementation. Um, to deliver well-scaled uh, website to, to the user, which has the priority in performance and optimization. So it means that uh, we received a set of UI components, web components, um, that are written with the performance in mind. They've been developed all the time uh, by the full-time working developers, uh, so they are maintained. And in comparison to, for example, raw HTML5 tags, um, they contain the, um, the functionalities and they are just well optimized to handle different issues as good as it's possible. Yeah, this is, this is the framework, uh, a set of UI components, let's say, and the PWA, um, this is the way how we write the applications nowadays. Uh, maybe not all of them, but PWA means that uh, we have a progressive web application and yeah, it's nothing complex. It means that we can create a shortcut on, uh, for example, mobile device on our mobile phone and treat this application as a native one. Uh, basically, PWA is closing our web application in a browser. I mean, close everything around browser and make this browser be dedicated just for, for a single app. And this allows us to create the shortcut on the desktop and you know treat this as a native app. So basically, PWA is a way how we write the application and AMP is uh, what we use to write application. This is like to the main difference I found. So PWA application looks like native app, right? Yes, exactly. So this, is, this, is the, this is the key point. It looks almost like native app, but it's still web application. That's correct. So regular user will not find differences between them. <laughs> well, it depends. Uh, it depends on the functionalities. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about some really simple uh, functionalities that do not relate on, for example, uh, mobile native ones. Everything what we can close in a web browser, yeah, users should not spot the difference. It should be used the same as native app. But you said that there is difference in functionality, right? Yeah. So we can't use only PWAs. Well, it depends on our needs, on the customer needs, mm -hmm. yes. Because if you just want to display your web application, if you want to display it while looking on the mobile, you can use, for example, you know, all the responsive web design techniques to, to scale it and make it look good on all of the devices. And you do not have to make it, you know, feel native. Mm -hmm. If your functionalities do not relate on um, native functionalities of the device, of the tablet or of the mobile, and but you want to give this native feeling, mm -hmm. you can probably decide to use PWA because you can offer this native feeling without a lot of effort. If you want to use the native functionalities um, or some Android dedicated functionalities or iOS dedicated functionalities, uh, you probably should think about using uh, something that creates the native app. For example, me as a front-end developer, my natural choice will be React Native because this helps me to write the single code base 
and deliver the application on two platforms, on iOS and on Android. Everything depends on, on the customer needs and on the business analysts and uh, obviously the estimations, you know, functionalities, uh, users, there is a lot of small bricks that create the whole picture. And now the main question of today's interview, how to choose the technology for your business or my business or your business? The answer is simple, choose wisely. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that's it, that, that's the key Great. for your business. No, just kidding. It's a really hard question. As I mentioned uh, in the previous explanation, there is a lot of these small bricks that creates the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And the key to uh, make a correct choice is to understand our customer needs. That's why we recommend you to use our you know, contact forms on the website on the frontendhouse.com or leakyms.com because we've got a really great specialists that can translate your problems, your ideas to uh, to the solution and to the correct fit, you know, correct measured solution, especially for you. So I really recommend to uh, to contact with us, obviously. You can always contact us and ask our experts. But you probably. Exactly. But yeah, I'm um, trying to answer your question. Nowadays, a lot of users have, obviously they have laptops, but uh, they've got smartphones. And most of the traffic is uh, coming from the smartphone users, uh, smartphone browsers. So uh, it's really obvious that our web applications should be adjusted to those users because these are like maybe half of the market. I don't have statistic in front of my eyes, but I believe it's a really big number. Yeah, so we cannot uh, avoid them. We cannot ignore them. We cannot say that our application is only for desktop because we will use big database, a big portion of our users and potential customers. Mm -hmm. Cool. Measuring our needs is the another step because uh, as I mentioned before, sometimes we just want to display something looking nicely on the mobile. Sometimes we want to add this native feeling, but sometimes we want to extend all of this and use the native functionalities from, from the device. So in terms of PWA and AMP, mm -hmm. let's, let's focus on AMP for a while. Let's so focus. accelerated mobile pages, this framework helps us to build a really nice looking websites that are fully responsive. So it means they work great on all of the devices, on all of the resolutions. And the only thing we need is a browser. This set of web components helps us to deliver a highly performed solution for the you know, mobile and desktop without putting a lot of effort to adjust all of this. This has been delivered out of the box. So mm -hmm. that's great and really easy to implement. So uh, for all of the developers who are watching us, uh, using KMP is as simple as include the script of the AMP, for example, from the CDN and use their tags where the attributes are almost the same as in HTML5. So it's really easy. But yeah, uh, moving forward, um, AMP will be a good choice for those who want to give a really nice touch over the mobile and deliver the well-performed application. PWA is something that could extend this by adding this native fill layer. So you will have shortcut on your desktop. You can treat this application as a native one. You can implement some service workers uh, to have a multi-thread, uh, simulated multi-thread to handle different jobs. Uh, you can um, save the state of, of the database somewhere in the async storage on the device memory. You can use this and uh, you can work offline with the application. So these benefits will give you this feeling of the native app uh, without, you know, writing a native app. Mm -hmm. And if you want to deliver, hmm, let's say, the video conference application. Mm -hmm. So video chat with some functionalities like, you know, sending messages, uh, have your own profile and play with the data. Some, I don't know, some lists with, with the forms. If you want to use like more advanced functionalities like camera, mm, geolocation, GPS, any kind of that stuff. Probably you might want to think about the React Native or any other technology that helps you to build the native app. But if your main target is uh, just a browser user, probably you may want to think about the PWA and uh, AMP framework. Do you have some examples? For example, AMP is perfect for new services and 
other? I think I do not have a real life example. Like, yeah, I can use my imagination for a while. AMP will be a good framework for those who want to deliver, let's say, mobile first experience, but still want to have the well working desktop version. Mm -hmm. And for those who want to have a web application instead of native one, and want to have a really fast working uh, app. So it can be dedicated for the e-commerce, for the newsletters, uh, for any other um, informational service. And what about AMP with functions of BWA? Because I know that there is option to do that. Sounds like an inception. No, <laughs> just kidding. Obviously it's possible. Uh, as I've mentioned before, AMP is, this is like the framework set of UI components. So you can use it in a web application and it doesn't recognize if it's uh, PWA or it's not. So you can use AMP in, in PWA. Uh, to be more precisely, you can build a mobile first web application that will be really well performed and really fast and close this into PWA functionalities. So you can uh, give this native touch over your web app to make it looks almost native and to make it works really fast with the AMP framework. Do you have one favorite technology or you don't have one beloved? Which one will, well, will you choose? P PWA or AMP or AMP with a function of PWA? Yeah, I get it. I do not have a beloved technology. Uh, to be honest, I always try to listen to our client, our customer and understand uh, his or her needs. This mm -hmm. is this is the first step. I have no experience with AMP, uh, like the commercial one, but I've got experience with PWA and I can highly recommend to think about the mobile. If you want to have web application, think about mobile, but it's not necessary to PWA, to be honest. If you want to give this native feeling to the users, you can think about it. But the most important thing is to make our web app works on the mobile and make it works well. So it needs to look good and cover the functionalities we want to have. So uh, probably AMP will be something that I could think about if we want to use it or not. Tell me, please tell me, PWA development is much more uh, difficult than AMP. Does it take much more money, much more time or? Implementing PWA is actually not so hard. It's not so complex. It's not require a lot of effort to achieve at least the basic version of the PWA. We need to write some configuration. I mean, to let the browser know that this is the PWA and we can, you know, add shortcut on uh, on the desktop. In terms of the AMP, this is something completely different because it's not only about the configuration. Mm -hmm. AMP is about using the library because this is, this is the framework okay guys this is the framework okay. so it has its own rules its own patterns it contains uh, its own elements that we need to learn at first to be able to use it I believe you need to put more effort uh, to start using AMP than to start using PWA and yeah that's it how time flies we have to finish our interview unfortunately thank you for watching you can always check other videos on our channel and yeah, check our socials. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our <laughs> socials, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and see you next time. Thank you, Tomek, so much. Thank you. High five. Yay, high five.